Hey, 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 guys. How you dolls doing? Okay, so I have been gone for a while, but I have been doing some shopping, so I wanted to kind of share that with you guys and show you what I have picked up um, in the last few months, at least since March. So one of the first things that I picked up, of course, was at Louis Vuitton. Actually, this whole video is going to be Louis Vuitton. Um... The first thing I got came in this little cute little box. And it was just something small that I wanted to get. Luggage tag with um, key on it, which is kind of the middle of my name. So I really liked that. It's in blue. Um, I sometimes wear it on this next bag that I'm about to show you. Now... This bag, I've only worn three times because I have to be honest with you guys. I'm not in love with it. And, oh, I'm sorry. That luggage tag was $62. Um, but let me preference this by saying if anybody is going to be in their feelings about me saying prices because prices will be said because that's what I want to do, you can go ahead and exit stage left. I'll wait. They going yet? Okay, good. Let's go. So, the bag I got was the Neverfull GM and Damier Azure. And I have to say that I don't love it. The straps are really uncomfortable. The bag is really big. Um, I had I purchased the bag, but I was kind of saving it for somewhere we were going. And I didn't use it, so I missed out on the actual time um, to exchange it or return it. So, I was kind of bummed about that, but that was my fault, so I can't be mad at anybody. Like I said, I've only worn it like three times. If you look at the patina, it's very, very light, and I've had it since March. So, yeah, I haven't done much with it. Like I said, you guys know what the Netflix GM looks like. It's a very gorgeous bag. I just don't, um, I don't wear it. I don't wear it at all, you guys. And I'm probably not going to go through the process of selling it because I don't want the hassle. So, yeah. I have this. And this is made in the USA. So, I mean, there's not much to say about it. I'm probably the only one who doesn't like this bag. Especially on YouTube. Because every video that I've watched, everyone just clams over the Neverfull. But this is the receipt that I got at the time and like I said I got it before the price increase so it was $1,030 I don't know if you guys can see that so yeah that's the Neverfull I recently went to Louis Vuitton for my husband's and I anniversary and I picked up this and it had the little cording around it and everything you guys so I'm sorry um, it was wrapped in this paper and this is the dust bag it came in and I picked up where is the here we go the Ava or Eva clutch whatever you want to call it and Damier Bean I absolutely love this bag you guys it's so freaking useful like I love it I love this bag. The strap is the perfect length for me. I'm 5'5", five five, but I'm a big girl, so, you know, that that extra take up the strap. <laughs> but I love this. It's a perfect size. It's at, it's just, this bag is everything. And this was $7.75. And, of course, you know it comes with a long strap with the two hooks on the side and this was made in the u.s as well i think the only bag that i had that was made elsewhere is my damier bean um speedy and that was made in france and i looked up on that one because the majority of the bags now are made in the u.s even the unprint bags which you pay a buttload of money for them bags like three thousand and up and they're made in the u.s but that's neither here nor there that's my feelings i'm sorry the next items that i got from louis vuitton um i actually had i got a wallet 
And I actually had a different wallet, which I loved. I had the multicolor insulate wallet with a grenade inside, but it was defective, so I had to bring it back, which I hate. I'm tr I'm trying to find it somewhere else. Um, I purchased it from the Galleria in Dallas, and they didn't have any more. So I'm thinking I'm going to go to North Park and see if they have it. So, but I got the Zippy Compact wallet. It came in this bag uh this box with the dust bag and so you guys know what the zippy looks like it has this beautiful zipper pull with a gorgeous zipper that feels like butter and the inside of course you guys know it has five card holders with this little pocket at the bottom and it has um like a little slot pocket right there and then a pocket in here a pocket behind there with the zipper which is also smooth like butter and then the back pocket I don't use this because I don't too much care for that so I just put my money back here and I, I just fold it but this wallet is very practical you guys like how dare Louis Vuitton make a wallet that fits all my needs like who does that who makes a wallet that fits all your needs <laughs> like I said it's very practical do I love the design? Yes. Do I love the way it looks? No. I would rather have my insulate wallet um, multicolor if I can find it. I'm definitely going to get that as well. But this wallet is very practical and it fits in my Eva clutch. It'll fit in all my other bags. So, yeah. That's the Zippy. It's very functional. If you're looking for a wallet that will last you a long time, it is very functional. The Zippy Compact Wallet is a very good choice. And this was made in France. And then the last item that I got from Louis Vuitton that trip, which was like a week ago, was um, it came in this box. This box right here. That dust bag, which the dust bag is like huge, but who cares? It is the six ring key holder, but it's a little <coughs> different, you guys. I know you guys have seen that as soon as I pulled it up. It has the fuchsia button because the interior is now fuchsia and it comes in, I think, like a yellow and an orange. Maybe. Don't quote me on that, y'all. But I thought that this was cute and different. I wanted the. Um, LV print, but I didn't want to hold bag, so I thought that this was a great compromise. So, um, yeah, I like this. It's different. It's new for Louis Vuitton. This was made in France as well, and it's very practical. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that my keys are all gathered inside a little pouch when I put it inside of my bag. That way, I don't have to worry about it scratching it inside the bag or anything, but I love it. It's different. I don't know... Um, like people were saying, you know, the button, this is the same button that's on like the Emily wallet and stuff and that it's going to eventually fade, but the buttons fade. So, I mean, there's no way of getting around that, but I thought that was really cute, you guys, with that different interior and it's still the same one piece. It's exactly the same as the other key holder. Just has a different color and a different button, that's all. But I thought it was really cute. I'm so happy that I got that. I have my eye on a couple of other items that I'm hoping to get before the price increase. Um, my sales associate, Roy, who is absolutely amazing in the gallery. Hey, Roy. <laughs> he, um, he said that the price increase is most likely coming beginning of October. So I'm hoping to pick up a few things before then. But until then, you guys... That is all that I have to show you for this video. I think I have two more videos that I'm going to do. But until then, if you see someone with a smile, give them yours.